And hello everyone, Driver here, and welcome to our latest episode in our ETS2 DAF Longplay series. I believe this is episode 8. So already, moving and grooving along, we are in our own XF DAF. We own this. And uh, let's see where we're at in the world right now. So right now, we are down here in the Italian city of Taranto. And we're going to continue the progression and try to work our way down in this direction to Cantazzaro, to Villa San Giovanni, and then get ourselves into Sicily. Now, you'll notice Cantania has already been found. That's because we bought our truck there. So, with that said, let's see what is available on the freight market to kind of head in that direction if possible. A lot of choices out to the island. I see. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to be heading over to Sicily. We don't want to go back to Naples. Let's see. We got empty pallets, and you'll see here. I move it over. So this is Sardinia. But it does take us to Cagliari. And looks like some stock standard pallets. Let's see if we have any ooh, truck batteries. That pays a little bit more money. Sugar, that pays a little more money. But we got this mobile crane. That definitely has me interested now. And uh, yeah, that looks to be that looks to be the ticket. So 11,000 euros on moats, and it's also a heavy piece of cargo. So here's where you got to know your truck. I already know this is going to be too much weight. It's going to be way too heavy. And the reason is I don't have enough horsepower. It's 36 tons plus the truck. So I'm going to do the smart thing, and we're going to haul some cars instead. Now get us over to Sardinia, and as we build our truck up to be a beefier, Guido will... Yeah, let's go ahead and turn our wipers on. Looks like we are in reverse. And let's see, how do I get out of here? Looks like over here. So, but yeah, really been enjoying the uh, long play so far. I hope you have as well. And we have a 54 kilometer liaison here. So, maybe heading back out to the Looks like we're heading back out to the area that we drove in from. So from the last episode, astute people will realize I actually drove in to um, this industrial area. Just because it was a short little jaunt over and I felt that the, the video already was approaching a little bit too long of length. So I decided just to drive the short distance over here. Get on so I hope all of you are doing well um, the day I'm recording this it is a Friday so pretty happy about that and uh, for this video I'm just gonna ask what is your favorite day of the week? Mine is Sunday. Sunday is very much the most important day. And that is because of church. That is because day of rest. That is time that I get to reflect. And work on myself and continue to have...
good lord, work on me and be the best person that I can be. And uh, I do take my faith pretty seriously, so for me it's Sunday. Big, big fan of Sunday. So we go around this half clover leaf here. If I had to choose a second it second favorite day, it's gotta be Friday. It's gotta be Friday. In my line of work, I work really, really hard. And therefore, you gotta have something to look forward to. And get over here. So for me, that is my second favorite today is Friday. So let me know down below what your favorite day is and why. So after we pick up um, this load here, I will disclose the first couple of mods I have added. Ah, uh, dude, this here. So let me slow down here. And it looks like it's almost the same exact place I dropped off in the last episode. So. And, ah. Uh, there it is. Pick some cards. Oop, there we go. And let's choose our cars and let's get out of here. And there we go. So. I've been testing a lot of different mods, and I've now put in three mods as of this recording. So we have the Realistic Weather mod, we have an AI Traffic mod, and we have a uh, Headlight mod. So... I've been pretty happy with what I've been seeing out of those on the test profile. And uh, my test profile, I have two of them. I have a proper long play one, and that is level 37, to give you an idea. And then I have a just a generic test one. Echo. And we're going to have a short jaunt over to Naples. And then we're going to catch uh, our first ferry of this game. So, we go where the work is, right? So, those three mods are in, and as we continue in our long play series, we're going to add some more in terms of like possible trucks, trailer packs, things of that nature to continue to bring a little bit more enhancement. So I'm so looking forward to uh, bringing those to bear here. Get out of town here. It looks like we're gonna probably head toward the Bari Autostrada here. And then factor over. But yeah, life is treating me really good here. 
I am um, definitely looking forward to my upcoming time off as I almost run into a perfectly good post there. Let's slow down. Roaring into that. Yeah, I can tell I am. I've been doing some high racing practice instead of trucking practice. So, yeah, going back and forth between the two games is definitely interesting. And part of what I've done is I've added five kilograms of force to my load cells. So. Trying to give a little bit more braking feel and all that. And we're on the Atastrada. So I think a question from one of you, what shoes do I use? Well, believe it or not, I actually use Crocs when I drive trucks. And then I have some thin blue Docker loafers when I do my high racing because you want a little bit more, uh, a little bit thinner shoe for brake feel. So that is what I use. And there we are. We see our sign for it. Yep. So, interesting thing about when you take ferries, you gain. The time it takes you to sail over back to your clock. So here's what I mean by that. Right now I have 9 hours and 10 minutes on my clock. So let's say the ferry crossing is 5 hours. Well, I'm in essence resting for 5 hours. So my effective would be, if permitted, 14 hours of change. In reality, that is not what's permitted. I think it's 10 or 11 is the maximum. In ATS 2. Now, in ATS, I think it, I want to say it's 13 or 14 hours. And in terms of testing and development, and all that, um, that has been going very, very well in terms of finding out which mods and configurations to use. So, definitely a fair bit of work being done right now to um, make sure that the series and all that is going smoothly. So the other thing I've been working on is getting the microphone dialed in a little bit. So um, I use Twitch Studio as my video render. Let me get over here. My video render in my streaming platform. And so Every now and then, when Windows drops an update, it messes up with the microphones. So that's why you've been hearing a little bit of poor microphone on the previous episode. So we are aware of that. We're working on improving that experience. So we have a little bit more quality to the recording. So it looks like we're going to go back to the so if you see those dotted lines, that's the ferry. So we're going to catch one of those on the other coast. Over to Sardinia for the first time. So the big thing is going to be, once we get to Naples, how to get down to the port. Because that is not a straight-in run, per se. There are some corners you got to take. And because we've got cars, we want to be very, very mindful. So, definitely looking at more mods for ETS2. And uh, as we mature the bank account and build the truck and all that, we are going to be adding supplemental lights. 
most likely, so you have a little bit more headlight coverage, so that is definitely on the to-do list here. Wednesday evening in Italy. And so a little bit of a disclaimer. When you drive in both Sardinia and Corsica specifically, Sicily is not quite as bad. The roads are tight. They are very, very tight. So you want to be very, very conscientious of driving in a very smooth manner. Ooh. You saw me had the indicator on. I had the indicator on, almost got ran over. We're still on our initial load of fuel here, so that first diesel bill is going to be pretty substantial. So you figure four, 1,400 liters. So one euro a liter is fourteen hundred dollars. One euro fifty is twenty one hundred euros. Anything above that, you're you're begging for mercy. So, but right now we have fifty seven percent fuel endurance. So that's why we are trying to drive economically. Because it's all about lowering operating expenses right now. So. Spring break here in North America is coming or already started for some school districts. And so, I'll be very interested to see with the way that the economy is in the U.S., how many people actually go off to do a spring break. And it brings up a very interesting point because in the certain parts of Florida, the concept of spring break is coming to an end because of the disruptions and the misconduct going on with a lot of people. Let's go ahead and drop this down in here. So go up this incline. So, um, the city of Miami, the city I used to live in before I moved up here, uh, they're really clamping down on the hardcore parting. Um, neighboring Fort Lauderdale to the north is like, come on in. So it's very, very interesting. I personally, I kind of take a middle of the road view. It's have an area those individuals to release some steam out and slow down. You gotta have an area for people to kind of cut loose a little bit within reason. If you heavily police it, you shouldn't have a problem. So, but the other thing is tourism dollars, what you reject 
what one city rejects, another city will welcome. Now, Miami gets so much tourism. I'm gonna speed up here. Snack the speed limit on me. So, this is very interesting how certain regions handle it. Like, give me an example. Uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Many, many years ago, I don't know if they still have this. They passed an ordinance where if you cursed, if you littered, if you made a disruption, it was a fine in the beachfront area because they wanted to make it family friendly. So, you know, they had a sign made up and it ended up being on a lot of t-shirts. Um, for me specifically, I enjoyed it. People could relax, they could have fun, you know, there was venues for people to, you know, party a little bit within reason. But you didn't get to act the fool. Okay, let's see. We're going to head over here. And we're going to take these roundabout here and head down to the port. So, I, I liked it. I think it's the whole thing of... People are... Let me make sure there's no one coming. Oh. People are very stressed these days. And they're looking to find... Mechanisms to release said stress. There's the sign to the port. So, I take a pretty moderate view on that. If it's well policed, you really don't have a problem. I mean, just look at Switzerland. Look how well ordered that society is. Yet people have a lot of freedom due to direct democracy. Alright. Still heading to the port. little fly over here, so let's go ahead and slow down. As we cruise up. So to give you an idea, there's the city right there. There's the port right here. You know, I'm using a mouse when I do that, and I have a specific button on the wheel to reset the view. So you see now the tricky bit, this little twisting bit. Because otherwise you take that surface street, now you got a little bit of zigzag where you're going. And we're about to turn left. So that will be important later on in the game. There, that's an over here. It 
So, something to keep in mind about the fairy port is everyone, every fairy port has a slightly different run in. There's some that are definitely clones of each other, but you cannot just autopilot this and yeet it onto a ferry boat. Because you got a little bump right here. You gotta manage that. So. And we are going straight over to Cagliari. As you see, you get Palermo and Barcelona. So, there we are. We are now on Sardinia. And as you see, we only have 12k to go. We get all our hours back. And we'll see what happens here in terms of finding a good second delivery. So. here because it's 50k kind of in essence going around the block so to speak there's an airplane taking off right there and water over there to the left for the Mediterranean and from what it looks like here it's just a couple corners and then we're interesting thing about the game is there is a collision detection option you can choose and the problem is sometimes it will just start dinging for no reason at all it'll just be incredibly annoying it's not a bad thing to have for those that don't have experience in the game. it's not a terrible thing but once you get to a certain point it's, you almost don't need it Unless it's very specific situations. Okay. We're also kind of on the lookout for possible like hidden roads. This road actually goes this way because of the stop sign. Let's see, that looks like that's going to the automotive. We're next to a Scania dealership. expand that and as you see we're already starting to bang out some good XP all right let's see what's next and we are there and now we got some more decisions we can continue to go west but I see this one right here and that one has my eye because we want to get to 
Captain Zara. So we're going to do that, and that way we can discover some more territory. Now here's where we don't have to sleep, because we know we're going to get all of our hours back from the ferry ride over to Sicily. So, to visit both of the Italian islands, as that is where work is, and that way we can get back to the mainland. And now what's going to happen is, is we're going to discover the rest of our bits and bobs. So this is actually really going to help because we're going to go through most, if not all, of the remaining Southern Loop cities. So this delivery is definitely going to be very good in terms of discoverables. So, we're going all the way up that, and I bet you that son of a gun is very steep. As mentioned before, probably doing Iberia next. That is always subject to change. Got to get a little bit more money. Is we're going to be at a point where eventually we're going to have to do a couple of very long distance drives to build up the bank account so that we can start expanding the company. So, so we might be in a situation where do a couple of pretty long drives this road. So, we gotta kind of see what happens after, once we get into Cantazaro, if we discover all the things to discover, then we're going to be in pretty good shape positionally as I heat into this. And now we got an off road delivery. Or shipper, I should say. And I can tell you, when you speed up, you definitely feel it in this direct drive. Climbing this slope. You can see it go all the way up over there in the distance. And the 
fun part is coming down this way. We have some windmills. Now the tricky thing is when you're speeding up these hills, these sharp corners come out of the blue. And I can speak from experience. I have misjudged one or two of these. And I've ended up into very solid object objects with a broken truck. So be very, very mindful. Now, kind of know what the challenge is coming down me. Look at everything over here. Get a hill, hill side there. We're at the top. please. Okay, that looks like that's over here. Yep. Okay, so I got a very tough... Okay, this looking at that, that tells me I gotta go around. I'll try to just yeet that around the corner there. So four reverse gears in this. All right, look at that on the dot. So don't turn right here. Just go around. Make life easier on yourself. Tempting to just go. Oh, I'll just go out right there. So 900k, part of that is going to be on a ferry, and then there's another ferry, it's a very short one, get over from Sicily to the mainland, and it's been the subject of many travel videos where the train just goes, it's on this ferry, and I want to say it's like a 20 minute trip or something. And then this gets back on the rails and continues to strip. So. Pretty much we're repeating our route. Back down the port and then we're going to be in. Well, I'm going to say we're going to end up in Palermo. So. Oh, look at this very tricky descent. We are going down that road over there to the right. gas right now, I'm just letting gravity do the work for me. The 
love that engine braking. happy to be back on the road. Alright. So, pretty happy. Guido is getting stuff done. Now what we want to do is we got to figure out how to generate income in for us, it's going to be a company. Because otherwise, you're doing a lot of long, long this is truck rides, which eventually we will do. We will find some interesting routes. Cargo things to up. But we're still very early in the game, right? So we want to make sure that we not only keep it interesting, but part of that is visit new things, try new routes, carry on. is certain countries also have a higher speed limit, so definitely things to consider. So far, I've been pretty impressed with a base level DAF. It is been pretty reasonable to drive. Okay, looks like nobody coming over there. Get a few over there. Pardon me, sir. Performance has definitely exceeded expectations. And here's the problem. Line corners, I'm not a fan of. So, some of the, the base level trucks in the game, like the Aveco, I think the Mon has a, a low horsepower version. I want to say there's, I know the Scania, I think, has a 330 in this. I'll have to check. The low end here is 367 brake horsepower. And it is, with this 12-speed gearbox with a retarder, it's delightful. So. Alright, let's see when this has got to be delivered. 
we have 32 hours basically and then once we sail back gain some time on our clock we still have over 850 kilometers of fuel endurance left but sooner than later we will have to stop for, for gas so But now I have to say for entry level, this has definitely been a very nice surprise. And it's relatively inexpensive. And I just like how it looks. Big fan of how it looks. So, all right. Now, what we're looking for is over here looking for the entrance. Take that other dotted line. All right. And 12 hours. So we're going to take basically the top of Sicily. So if you draw a curve, those are... The next four venues we're aiming for to get before we end the episode, so... wipers to check in here. There we go. Now this light is tends to be very short. Like if you see a yellow light there, don't even think about running. Here we are in Palermo, and we're going to take the Autostrada over. But it does take a little bit of time to get out of this particular city. So, previous attempts when I've come through here, so this is when I kind of like eat, get my liquids up, pause game, use restroom, because it just takes a while to get out, because you're cruising at 30 for a fair bit of this. And there is a sneaky speed camera coming up that you got to be aware of.
another six hours here, so we're definitely going to make that. It's going to be pretty straightforward. A lot of this is going to be out of strata. Not a lot of secondary roads to get us to our destination here. But, if everything goes our way, we'll have some good discoverables. Along the way. Because we still have 45% according to this, but it wasn't filled completely reality, we have about 25% left in the tank. Here's this little speed camera. As you come flying through here, by the time, oh, I need to slow down for 40, it dings you. So be very cognizant of that particular speed camera. This is the DAF XF 2021 model. We're out of Palermo. Straight line across on Autostrada 19 and 20. Let's see, what are we hauling here? Some IBC containers, only 11 tons. It's not very heavy at all. That's a good thing. Because this truck is not yet ready for heavy hauling. You really, I think you gotta have at a minimum a 4x2 and 400 brake horse before we entertain that idea. Caravan kind of taking its time. So there's the alternate way to Pinia. serves that photograph symbol you see in the lower right corner GPS. That is Mount Etna.
on these lower weight loads, they this tractor does a pretty decent job getting on with it. I just feared with that heavy one, I was going to have a lot of trouble. So, the thing is, you don't have too many gears. You only have 12. You don't have like 16 or 18, so... That is a consideration when you start doing heavy load. Because of the wear and tear on your tractor. Already halfway across to Messina. Very famous part of the movie Patton revolves around Sicily. So never seen that movie, give it a gander. Now we're going to have a little bit of a tricky in run, and then when we get over to Villa San Giovanni, an exfil out. But, like I said, in exchange, we get a lot of discoverables done. That is good. And one of the big things strategically is now we've done the southern mainland in Sicily. So we may be incentivized. To do northern Italy. And then we can focus on Sardinia. Corsica, get those regions settled. Whatever they're trying to under. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it.
All right, so we're now in Messina. We're trying to get to the port. Take that aforementioned ferry that's got the train in it. And we don't have too far left to run. Before we get to our destination, Catazaro. So, this is working out very, very well. So I want to thank everyone for the support on the video. Um, first initial analytics on this uh, particular long play were really, really good. So I'll be curious to see how episode 2, 3, and then the first proper long one at 4. And that one that I did on the sister channel, on the Twitch channel. That's why you hear me talking to people and socializing. On that, there's Messina. And already we're 16 of 27 discovered in Italy. So. I always get those two lights confused. corners here and then we will get on Autostrada 2 and start heading in. Luckily I can just go straight on here, which is nice. Very friendly light. I knew you were turning, I was on to you. Here's an example where if you just autopilot this port, oh, you'll either run this light, run the next light, or you'll screw up the entry. So don't autopilot this. Now it's a very short ride over. So you're not gaining very much on your clock. A lot of people miss this wall. And they'll either hit this gurney or do what I've done, which has gone long. In essence, went the wrong way. Those uh, jersey barriers, I have hit those once or twice. Okay, let's put this in fifth. Now our second ferry ride of this trip in the third of the episode. See, it's only 20 minutes. It's very, very short. And now we're at 17. Now we have 160k to run. It's mostly Autostrada. The interesting thing about coming out of Villa is all these zigzags. Lots of zigzags. And you just cannot eat these because cars will come out of nowhere and run into you.
this corner, often you'll have a vehicle or two, if you're not careful, come at you. Like that one. And that's the thing about playing something like this experience goes a long way. Okay. Almost out of town. Because now you got this little flyover you gotta deal with. Here's the port. Now, those do look like... Yeah, here's the train tracks over here on the right I'm talking about. Another man. Now those uh, construction objects you saw me kind of chachet around, they do hurt if you hit them. So be cognizant of those. Same thing with trash. There's an effect now. And let's accelerate. Get going. Quite a great view, more of a, I see a top of a hill there. person. Nope. They're not going to be. AI will do very silly things in this game if you're not careful. So. Alright. Now we're climbing and you're going to go up it and then you're going to head to the right eventually. So. Got a truck along here. Get this dropped and then we'll look at the map and figure out what we're going to do next. Because the southern part of Italy, outside of Sardinia, is done pretty much. So, maybe time to head over to. Balkans or to Iberia. We've already put 1,500 kilometers on our truck. So we're still breaking it down. Still breaking it down. That's a good question for those who are truck drivers. How far, whether it's miles, kilometers, does it take to say, yeah, the truck has now been broken? That would be a good question. Because I know, like, from motorcycles, some motorcycles had you go, you can only rev a certain number of RPM for a certain distance. Certain sports cars had that limitation. So, let me know down below if trucks have that. We'll go from there. So, 75 kilometers left. We got a pretty straight run in into Cantanzaro.
So, as we get over there, like I said, thank you for the support. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe with this channel and the sister channel on Twitch by the same name. And I'm looking to start the ATS long play. Probably, I don't know if I'm going to start before or after my vacation. Honestly, don't know. But that one, in terms of mods, I've been very laser focused on. So I found some pretty good mods for that. And um, we're going to do the same here for ETS2. Got three already loaded. For ETS1, the realistic game, the realistic economy mod has been fascinating. I've really enjoyed that. Speed this bad boy up. So I've got a 25k run in here. Cantozaro is back on the Adriatic side, if I remember my geography correctly. See here the shipper is. Cargo Trass. That looks like that is on the left. I'm gonna go ahead and get over. signed actually. How nice. How nice. Okay, we come over here. And let's see. And this is in the back. As usual for cargo truss. Alright. Let's get this in and then we're going to look at our map. Four hundred seventy k, and we're almost at level ten. We're almost going to get another point. All right, so let's have a quick look at where we're at. There's the delivery log, and we're starting to get some good paying jobs. We've explored almost four percent of the map. We've discovered twenty four of three hundred twelve cities. So we're doing all right with that. Got just under 39,000 euros. 
And now you kind of see why that trip was important. Because now we're going to start heading to Casino and Turney. Those are kind of the next two big targets before we knock out Northern Italy. We still have Sassari and Olbia that we got to do uh, to complete all things Italian. So, um, need to see how we're going to work that. But anyway, my friends, Jairo here. And as always, make sure you take care of yourselves, take care of one another. God bless.